So heart attack comes when the mind is un unstable. Heart attack comes when the mind is filled with hatred. Heart attack comes when the mind is not in peace. And heart attack comes when the mind is agitated. So keep your mind under control. Even with all the vessels blocked, you will still be healthy. The who is the boss in the whole human body? The mind. And if you know how to control your mind, you can control your body, you can control your health, you can control probably the whole family, everything. So, you know, once, once in a year or once in two years, I just get my blood sugar done. And I, in case, you know, I don't know, I, I'm not a diabetic, but in case I should be a diabetic, I just get a blood sugar done. And I also get a creatinine done to see if my kidney is uh, okay, is up and running. So these are these kind of things, one or two tests, but today if you go, my God, fat profile, I believe, 100 things, LDL, HDL, ABCDL, it's caste system, like, you know, this Krithias, Lubaishas, that, that kind of a thing. And now, very interesting thing, this week, yesterday, somebody sent me from America a data which said American associations of doctors have declared 12 things not to be done in medicine because they are not only not needed, they can be dangerous. One, this uh, TMT test should not be done because it's not reliable at all. It's specificity and sensitivity less than 50%. Two, coloroscopies. Everybody goes after 50. If you say, you know, I have got some tummy ache, the doctor will ask you to lie down and then put a tube behind at your bottom and then look through you. And in this process, he can even puncture the gut and give you a lot of problems. And this says, does not help the patient at all. On the contrary, it can detect unnecessarily simple things which are made into big things and operated upon. So that's the second thing. Like that 12 things are there. If any one of you is interested, I'll send the whole uh, list to you through your EMA and you can circulate to your members. Do not go to the doctors to get these 12 things done. Even, even it says, you know, operating on a womb, pregnant woman before the 39th week, for simply by saying that the child may be big, the child may come out, is not good because the child will not survive. Even if it survives, it's not a healthy child. So, a lot of these things, 12 things are there. So, we do a lot of things. We overdo a lot of things which should not be done. So, medicine is not a very complicated thing. Medicine is a very simple thing. Now, the who is the boss in the whole human body? The mind. And if you know how to control your mind, you can control your body, you can control your health, you can control probably the whole family, everything. And I always say, mind your mind and it will look after the other things. Now, a block in the coronary artery does not give you heart attack. An American doctor called Valentine Fuster did a study in New York where he did an angiogram on healthy 100 people and showed a lot of blocks and wrote down, if this man were to get a heart attack, he should get a heart attack here because his artery is blocked. And after about 15 years, he saw a few of them had heart attack, but none of them, none of them, mark my words, none of them had a heart attack where there was a block. So heart attack comes when the mind is un unstable. Heart attack comes when the mind is filled with hatred. Heart attack comes when the mind is not in peace. And heart attack comes when the mind is agitated. So keep your mind under control. Even with all the vessels blocked, you will still be healthy. I had a patient about 40 years ago, at which time he was 50 years old, and his children brought him to me. And he had gone to Bombay for a checkup, and they had done an angiogram. All the vessels in his heart were blocked. <laughs> Every single vessel in his heart were blocked. Every single vessel in his heart was blocked. Then I told him, how are you alive? So I saw the angiogram. I saw nature had done a lot of bypass already, was for collateral. So I told him, you don't have to have anything. You just be happy, you will be happy, and you will live as long as you live. His children thought, they said, oh, this village doctor, they're all in New York, you see. They, this village doctor doesn't know, we'll take our dad to America. So they took him there. So they took him to the Mayo Clinic, and then told the Mayo Clinic doctor, see, this, uh, this is our father, this is what happened, this is what the doctor said. The doctor examined him, and then looked at the angiograms and said, ask your dad to go home. And he was a Catholic, you know, enjoys a peg of whiskey. Ask him to have a bag of whiskey at night and enjoy life. He will now, nothing, nothing will happen to him. He doesn't require anything. So he came back. Do you know how old he is? 97 now, 97. And if you can see him in Mangalore roads, because he came and told me about a year ago, I feel bored, what do I do? So I told him, okay, I'll talk to the police people. You be the traffic warden. Instead of sitting at home, 
you sit stand in hampankatta there is a center of bangalore and drive with the traffic so now you can see this old man 97 year old man standing in the road main road driving directly traffic and he, the police have given him a uniform so he is very happy about it and he will not die for some more time so happiness keeps you alive <laughs>